Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will learn about the Azure Notification Hubs. So we will discuss uh, uh, a lot of details about Azure Notification Hubs uh, in this session. And uh, we will talk about what is Azure Notification Hubs and what are push notifications and how do push notifications work. And I will go over some high level um, details and how do push notifications work and uh, we'll talk about why we use azure notification app and after that uh, i will show you guys how to uh, create a notification hub and how to create an azure notification hub using azure portal and how to create a namespace uh, and a notification hub and after that uh, i will talk about um, how to uh, set up push notifications and notification hub and how do we do apple push notification service and google firebase cloud messaging and windows push notification service and microsoft push notification service for windows support so let's talk about uh, what is uh, azure notification hub Azure Notification Hubs provide an easy to use and a scaled out push engine that enables you to send notifications to any platform. Like I discussed, they could be Apple, Android, Windows, any any device from any backend. So Notification Hubs works great for uh, both enterprise and uh, consumer scenarios. So I will talk about a few uh, scenarios here. So let's say uh, send breaking news notification to millions with low latency. That is one scenario. Another scenario that we can use notification up to send location-based coupons to interested user segments. Uh, another scenario, uh, we can use these hubs to send event-related notifications to users or groups for uh, any category, media, sports, finance, gaming applications. Uh, another uh, scenario, uh, push promotional contents to applications to engage and market to customers. And uh, other scenario, uh, we can, uh, using this Azure notification apps to notify users of enterprise events such as uh, new messages and work items. And also we can use this to send the codes for multi-factor authentication. So let, let, let's talk about like, you know, uh, what are push notifications? So what are push notifications? Push notifications are a form of app to user communication where users of mobile apps are notified of certain desired information, uh, usually in a pop-up or dialog box on a mobile device. So users generally, like, you know, they choose to view or dismiss the message or choosing the former opens the mobile application that communicated the notification. So some notifications are silent, uh, like we know that we uh, delivered behind the scenes uh, for the app to process and decide what to do. So let me talk about some high level, how do these uh, push uh, notifications work? So here you can see that uh, an here you can see it, uh, one second, I see. Oh, sorry for that, so now we are in the, the main screen, how do push notifications work? So an application wants to receive a notification, so it contacts the PNS for the target platform on which the app is running and requests a unique and temporary push handle. The handle type depends on the system. Example, uh, WNS uses URIs while APNS uses token. So I will show you when we go to your uh, Azure portal, I will show you like, you know, how do we like, you know, these token certificates work. And the next one, the client app stores, this handle in the app backend are provided. The first step, you see, if you see that, right, a retrieve PNS handle, so an application wants to receive a notification, so it contacts the PNS for the target platform on which the app is running and requests unique and temporary push handle. And the second one, you can see that it is marked green, the store PNS handle. The client app stores this handle in the app, backend or provider. And the third one, uh, to send a notification that is highlighted in the orange color, so to send a push notifications, 
the app backend contacts the PNS using the handle to target a specific client app. And the fourth one, send it to device. The PNS forwards the notification to the device specified by the handle. So there are some challenges of this push notification like a platform dependency because the backend requires a complex and hard to maintain platform dependent logic to send notifications to these devices on various platforms as a PNS, PNSs are not, are not unified. The next one is scale and then routing. So let's talk about why we use the Azure Notification Hub. Notification Hub eliminates all complexities associated with sending push notifications on your own from your app backend. So I will talk about like, you know, a uh, uh, few advantages of using this uh, Azure Notification Hub. So the few advantages cross platform support all major push platforms and uh, cross backends and uh, a rich setup delivery patterns and rich telemetry scalability and more secure. Okay, so I'll go to um, Azure portal and I'll show you how to create uh, an Azure notification hub in the Azure portal. And I will show you how to uh, find the existing namespaces and I'll show you how to set up push notifications in a notification hub. So here you can see that uh, I'm in the Azure portal. I'm in the Azure portal. So I will go here and uh, look for notifications hub and uh, click on the notification hubs. And here we can see options plus create, uh, create, click on create. And here we need to choose the resource group. Uh, I will create a new resource group. I will call it resource group 01. And I need to give a new uh, a name for this notification hub namespace. I will say, uh, this is notification hub name 01. I will call this notification uh, up namespace 01. I'll say namespace 01. Okay, so namespace name is not available. So I will say and uh, I will select another name and it is available. And now I will create a notification. Now I will say notify hub 01. And I will select the location as East US. And uh, let's talk about the pricing tiers uh, here. So we can change the, the pricing tier if we want to go or if we want to upgrade. So for this demo, I'm just using the free pricing tier, but if you want to go, you can use the other pricing tier if you want to like B1. So here you can see that 10 million included pushes, but with the free, we get only 1 million, but the next like, you know, but this one $10 per month, but other one 200, it includes 10 million, pushes and uh, 10 million active devices. So the, you see the difference of with free 500 active devices uh, with basic pricing tier, 200K active devices. Okay, so I will select the, the free pricing tier and I will move to next. I will leave this as empty, the tax space. I will go to review plus create and uh, everything looks good. I will create this notification now. So it doesn't take long. It just takes a few minutes to deploy this service uh, in Azure. So we can see that deployment is in progress. And once this deployment is complete, then I will show you like, you know, how to uh, send uh, uh, push notifications. But before that, uh, I will show you how to create an, um, a new hub. Uh, as deployment still in progress, I'll show you how, how to add an hub. Deployment is complete. Now I will go to the resource and uh, you can also check these access policies. These are all, uh, they are very important. The, the connection strings. 
So these two connection strings are available to us and we will need them like, you know, uh, later to send the push notification, but we don't send push notification in this uh, exercise, but I will show you how to configure like, you know, it's not that hard. So I will go to home and uh, look, just click on uh, notification, notification hub namespaces, click on the, the namespace that we just created. So here we can see that we already have a hub available, notify hub 01, and I will create a new hub. I'll say notify hub 02 and create this hub. So now I have uh, two hubs available. And if you want to like, you know, deployment, is additional details from online that might be at least one resource is failed. Okay, let me go and let me refresh it. Let's see why it failed. I will just say hub zero two and create this. Yeah, it should work now. Deployment to resource group zero one is in progress. Yeah, now uh, this is created. Now hub zero two is created. You can just click on it and. Uh, we selected the basic tier, but here you can see maximum devices allowed in the namespace 500 and 1 million pushes include in this namespace. So now uh, I'll go back to uh, the setting and I'll just show you like, you know, how to send these um, uh, push notifications in a notification app. And uh, under the settings on your left, you can uh, select Apple. So you see that uh, all the devices, uh, Google, Windows, Windows iPhone, everything is available. And uh, here, the authentication mode, you can select either certificate or you can uh, select the token. And application mode, you, you can select a production or sandbox, anything if you want to send a notification. And if you want to send it to Google, just uh, click OK. And you can use the API, just enter that key and save it. So this is how you can uh, send notifications um, using this notification hub. Uh, I'm not deploying, I'm not sending anything, but uh, if you have any questions on how to send these push notifications using Azure Notification Hub, uh, please feel uh, free to post everything, uh, your questions in the comment, and uh, I will respond um, as early as possible. And uh, before I end this uh, exercise, so uh, I will talk about like, you know, what we discussed uh, in this uh, module. So we talked about um, what is Azure Notification Hub and uh, what are push notifications. And we talked about uh, how do push notifications work. And we talked about some high level architecture, high level flow diagram. Uh, and there are four stuff. And we discussed about the challenges, like in the challenges of these push notifications, and also talked about why we use Azure Notification Hub and what are the advantages. And I logged into Azure Portal and um, uh, we deployed a notification app using Azure Portal and we created a notification app. And on top of that, I showed you how to like, you know, send a push notification using this Apple, Google, Windows, Windows, iPhone. If you have any questions on this Azure Notification Hub, please uh, post them in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.